Mr. Parker, the Emmy found bruises on your wife's body. We're just interested in finding out how they got there. How should I know? And look what happened. My wife wasn't exactly rational. Yeah, and Grandma always said a smack in the head was the best cure for the crazy, so. Look. All my wife talked about was having a baby. Her kid sister had three, all her friends, and the more we tried, the more desperate she got. Something worked. Oh, thank you, Dr. Delbert. Some fertility expert on thermometers. Rushing home from work in the middle of the day. We weren't making love, we were on a mission. Listen, let me be straight with you. Now, we heard that your wife said you killed her baby. The ME found bruises on your wife's body. So, tell us what it's about, Mr. Parker. Let me tell you about my wife. She was crazy ever since she got on the baby kick. And then the great Dr. Jordan Delbert starts pumping her full of hormones every week. Didn't exactly help her mental health. She get impatient with her? Maybe give her a little incentive? After the miscarriage, Susan was totally out of control. I tried to comfort her, be with her. I mean, it was my baby, you know. But all she wanted to do was start again with Delbert and the hormone shots. I couldn't live like that anymore. Nobody could. And you moved out? Yeah, I started packing, and she attacked me. I lost my temper, but I swear, all I did was push her away. Well, he's what, 6'2", she's 5'3", tops? How hard did he have to push her? 5'3", and pumped full of estrogen. <laughs> right. And a woman can't be elected president, because once a month, she might freak and push the button. And once a month, Gloria can't get out of bed. And that's just what the hormones God gave her. You know, Parker said his wife was taking those shots for a long time. Maybe this isn't the first time he lost his temper. Let's go talk to this Dr. Gilbert. My gallery of babies. We try to encourage my people to send uh, birth announcements and uh, baby pictures. The uh, Parker's baby would have been on this wall right here. About Susan Parker, doctor, the last time you saw her? It happens. Excuse me? The miscarriage. She came in panicked about two weeks ago. She was bleeding. Uh, there was nothing I could do. Susan didn't take it very well. Well, that's understandable. Susan had a tendency to overreact. The treatments didn't help. You're talking about the hormones? It aids in conception. Yes. My heart really went out to her. She kept screaming, telling me I was wrong. Unfortunately, I wasn't wrong. It's traumatic, but uh, it would have been much worse later in the pregnancy. Uh, Susan was only eight and a half weeks. Do you know exactly what caused the miscarriage? It's hard to say. She was too emotional for a complete exam. Could have been many things. My patients are typically high risk. You saw her once a week, right? Did you notice any bruises that shouldn't have been there? What are you saying? You think her husband beat her up? Brandon? Yes, there were problems in the marriage, but abuse? Susan would have told me. Oh, well, maybe she wasn't all that proud of it. The women who come to me want to get pregnant. I'm the last resort. I know everything about them. When and what they eat, how much they sleep, what kind of nail polish they use. Is that important? Everything's important when you want to get pregnant. Keeping secrets from me would be counterproductive. It would be like uh, going to confession and not telling the whole truth. You may want it more than life itself, but you're not getting absolution. The nuns in my school are less sanctimonious than that guy. Uh, your nuns never went to medical school. You know, those MD plates get you a better parking spot in heaven. Hey. With the fetus less than three months old, even if Parker beat his wife to a pulp, he didn't commit a murder. So let's get back to our real jobs. Hey, Van Buren wants us to check it out for spousal abuse. Think of it like a vacation. First of all, we don't have a complaining witness. Second of all, we just heard from the mouth of God that the husband was a saint. Well, God never gave her a full exam. Now, something caused that miscarriage. Let's see if Coyle can fit us in. Well, you were right. She was in some kind of fight. Well, bottom line it for us, Coyle. Was Susan Parker the attacker or the attackee? Let me show you. I'm Mrs. Parker. I go at you. So? 
You grasp my wrist tight and hold him away from you. Now, I'm struggling. I want to scratch your eyes out. <laughs> but you push me away, and I lend him my butt, banging my elbows on the floor. The deceased had hematomas on her wrist, right where you grabbed me. Her left elbow and buttock revealed contusions, probably from falling on the floor. And you have no old bruises or broken ribs? Sorry. So Parker's telling the truth. Are you sure there was nothing on her chest or her stomach? Something that would cause her to lose her baby? Baby? What baby? This lady was never pregnant. What do you mean she wasn't pregnant? The Emmy's absolutely positive, Mr. Parker. My God. Are you sure Delbert told your wife she was pregnant? He told her, all right. I was standing there when he did. Delbert told us the same thing. You're going to arrest him, right? If there's nothing we'd like better. What are you saying? The bottom line is, all Delbert did is lie to your wife. It's not a crime. Lying's not a crime. We, he took our money. It's fraud. Only if he knew his treatment wouldn't work. The truth is, none of us know what happened. It could have been a simple misdiagnosis. Doctors make mistakes. Oh, some mistake. First he makes her crazy, then he gets her killed. And you can't do anything about it. Well, that's just great. You know, this doctor could have one hell of a scam going. Think about it. He takes the big fees, and he pumps his patients full of this HCG stuff. It doesn't work. They start to get antsy, so he tells them what they want to hear. They're pregnant. A couple of weeks later, sorry, you lost the baby. Too bad, these things happen. Then he starts all over again, and so do the big fees. The problem is Mrs. Parker isn't available to testify. This doctor has other patients, right? Oh, I'm sure he'll be happy to send us his list. He will if a judge tells him to.